gonna share with you guys what I do to get ready in the morning and all the things that I do to get the kids ready in the morning. So right now, the kids already went out and did the animal chores. Gage is not here today, he's gonna be with Lauren and then he has to go to work. Um, the kids are doing their upstairs, putting their, or folding their clothes, or Hudson and Miles are, and then um, Nash and Lachlan are making their bed. Declan's gonna be ready here pretty soon, starting his school. Eli's gonna be starting his school pretty soon, and I'm going to start making sourdough bread. So it took me a while to get to have that. I have been making pancakes and stuff. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I share some stuff with sourdough on there. I'm still learning a lot of it. Um, I didn't go outside of making pancakes and bread yet. Um, I do have a sock on my sourdough starter only because I put it in my laundry room because that's the warmest spot in the house and I need it to stay warm. And that has been working well for us. Um, so when I first started it, I had to ditch the first batch because it wasn't working. And that one I tried putting in my oven and then with the light on, they say to do that or put it on the countertop or put it above your refrigerator to keep it warm. So I did all that, it wasn't working. And then I just had this idea about putting a sock around it and putting it on our furnace area. Getting the kids ready for today. Um, we still have to clean off the table and get ready for school. So some of that has to be done yet, but I did the dishes and Eli helped me with that. But now I need to get this started so that I have it ready for tomorrow. for about a half an hour and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do some other stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys along for preparing my bread for uh, tomorrow. So I'll show you the steps that I do today. I also am gonna be cleaning off the table pretty soon because we need to do school. The kids are playing right now and still getting things done. And then we're gonna focus on school. But I wanna show you guys now how to feed my starter so i have the leftover stuff that's in here right now one of these days i will clean this out but for right now you kind of need it to look like that just because we already have it active and we need to um, just feed it so that i can make either more bread or pancakes and stuff like that
Okay, so the kids are at the table. They're doing their school right now. I'm gonna share with you guys um, what Lachlan is doing today and what some of the other kids are doing. I have to do the sourdough yet, so my timer went off and I will show you the next steps to that. But Lachlan and everybody are here. I gotta grab something here, but they're kind of waiting for me to do school with them, but I wanted to get the paperwork back or the recipe back out because I wanna share with you guys what I have to do the next steps. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to that in a minute. All right, so for Lachlan today, what they need to do is do writing in their book. So this is Lachlan's on what he did today. And we are using just a book that I got off of Amazon. When it comes to doing their writing and stuff like that, I just get that at random places. I don't really have a curriculum um, for that. And then for Declan right now, he is working on English or language. And yesterday we had to read a story and he had to go over some questions about the story and answer them. I haven't been sharing a lot of homeschool stuff with you guys just because we've been busy with other things. So they are doing their school, but while they're doing their school, I'm doing the other video stuff. So I don't always have time to stop and just do a video just on their schooling. So I figured today I was just gonna do kind of like a morning routine kind of thing on what we do in the morning. So usually, if you guys followed along and saw in my other videos, I would sit in my room for a little bit in the morning and do some of my editing and do all like my mom stuff, I call it, in the morning. Then I get up around nine o'clock, the kids have to do chores. And then I help with some of the chores. I do a lot of laundry during the day. And then, which I'll leave a link up above for our laundry system. I will do that video over probably another time. I think I did it twice, but I really like how we do our laundry and I think it makes everything just work so much smoother when it comes to our laundry. I also want to share with you guys what it, or what I'm doing with our sourdough. Um, but for the kids for today, they just need to finish up their schooling. Miles and Hudson did their, you're done with your laundry, right? And you put your dirty stuff back in your laundry basket, right? You did or no? Okay. Okay. So if they don't have a basket because their clean stuff is in their basket, then they lay everything down in the hallway. And then when they have a clean basket or that basket is available, then they have to put their dirty stuff in that basket. And that's what them two did. Um, Declan just brought down his laundry. Where did you put your basket? All over there. Okay, so now I have to do Declan's today and I have towels and my laundry and Evelyn's laundry today. So I will get that done. And then um, I also have to make a cake for somebody this weekend. Eli's gonna be getting, or I shouldn't say Eli's gonna get his license, but I called the other day to get his paperwork and I have it and I need to either send it in or drop it off. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna go with him we're just gonna drop it off so we can get it in faster. He's gonna do all his schooling online, like Gage did. And then when he's done with that, then he has to do, I think it's like six to 12 hours of behind the wheel with an instructor and then take his test and see if he passes. So that's gonna be through the next couple months. I will share the progress on all of that. Um, but usually in the morning, we get everything done in the morning just because that's the best way that I can function in the morning. If the kitchen isn't clean, the table's not clean, and it's just not in order, I can't function. So we have the dishes done besides their cups from breakfast. I will just show you quick. Um, so we have the scaffolding here to get started. So that's going to be here. The kids have been kind of playing on that. Um, but I brought down Legos yesterday and then which usually Lego stays upstairs. I have <laughs> I have a blanket on the birds right now because they're always making noises when I do videos. Oh my goodness. Okay, Evelyn just got that for her birthday. She likes playing out here even though her bedroom is right there. So this is not usually what I like for it to look like, but she just got all new birthday stuff so I want her to um, they can just play over there and then 
Hudson's new chore is picking up the living room because sweeping, I ended up just taking over. So Evelyn is right here playing with a Walmart box. You know, she has all these toys over there, but she'd rather play with a box. And I know a lot of kids prefer that. Um, they just got a new iPad and new headphones. Um, we didn't have headphones for some of the other players. So I ended up getting ones that were Bluetooth compatible. And we have a bird on the loose. I would shut my bed. Because, yeah, because that's normal. <laughs> Okay, so they're gonna chase after the bird. But, um, so with these headphones, they're compatible with the iPad. And one thing with, I wasn't even gonna go over this with you guys, but if you're interested, we have two of these Amazon Fire iPads. And this is not um, like, I'm not trying to sell you this product or anything like that, um, cause I'm not promoting this product, but, um, if they would offer me one, I would promote it for you guys because we have two and I like it. And we just got this one. I just programmed it last night or this morning. I'm not sure. You gotta look around the house. You should shut my bedroom door though. Okay, so one of the things with, I'm all over the place with this video, but just because I came in here and I thought it was so cute that she's sitting here like this. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can take a picture. All right. Okay, so anyways, with them iPads, what you can do with them is parental control them. So if they, they can't go on the internet and they can't do anything unless I have access or give them access to it. So if they wanna play a game, they can request the game. I'll get a notification on my phone and I can review it and say yes or no. Um, they can't switch between screens to other, uh, or to my main screen where I, am, I have access to everything. So with that, I um, have a code and they can't only, I think, well, I kind of said it out loud today, but usually um, one of the bigger kids can have it because they help me out with getting them started with different things. So mainly they're not able to do anything that you don't want them to do on the iPad. And that was one of the things that me and Lauren talked about when we were gonna get them new iPads because the iPad that I had before, they had free range of being able to do a lot of things and now I have more control with this um, iPad. So they have different ages. I think it's like younger little kid ages, like three to whatever. I always get the six and up one and then I just put more um, like parental control on it so they can't do a lot of things. Each iPad has four um, accounts. So each, so there's eight kids and we have four on each one of them. Um, and then you can purchase games or you can get free games. So that's kind of what we've been doing lately. I really like that iPad. I will leave a link down below. See, I did not plan on doing this today to share that with you, but I will leave a link down below if you guys are interested in getting a tablet and ear, um, the Bluetooth ear, your phones um so my evelyn can go on there while we do a school and then i do have stuff for her to do today where did i put that do you remember where i put them things okay i did do a post or like a short video on me doing a lamination or laminating oh here it is i found it okay here's the other set of headphones they're just little kid ones Okay, so I got these off of Instagram, and the person's name is Troy O'House, and I was able to download all this stuff for free, and then I laminated it. So I, I kind of did a couple of them so that I have double, so you can do stuff like this. They can trace them, and then this, they can, we can just go over it, and then they have another one where they can color it, and then we have numbers. So I will leave a link. If I can find that again, I will, or I can reach out to them too. See if I can get a link and you guys can download them and then just print them off. And they can just use like a dry erase marker and practice their letters and stuff with that. So that I'm gonna be doing with Evelyn. Hopefully she'll cooperate because Evelyn is Evelyn. So 
We'll see how that goes, but I like her to be busy while I do school with the kids and she's usually pretty good with playing. We don't usually have a lot of problems with her when it comes to um, when the kids are doing school. Just right now, the kids are all waiting for me to help them. I still have to do the sourdough and do some stuff. I think I'm gonna show that with you first um, because it's been sitting there for a little while. All right, so let me show you that quick. I'm gonna help these guys out um, and then we'll get on with the rest of the day. Okay, let's see if I can get you guys in view here. All right, so what you need to do after the 30 minutes that it's sitting, um, okay, so after the 30 minutes of the dough just sitting, this is what it looks like already, so it already got bigger. Now we need to do a couple stretch and folds. So on her, Hold on one second. Okay, so on her recipe it says first three stretch and folds are every 15 minutes. So every 15, 15 minutes I set the timer and we do a stretch and fold. So let me show you what I do. She, the first stretch and fold that she does, she does six at that one time. And then the other ones she only does I think four or something like that. So let me just show you the first one. Okay, so you take one side and you bring it up like this, as high as you can. And if you don't want your dough to stick all over your hands, you can get them wet. All right. So you go to each side of the dough. Okay, so this is number four right here. grab the rest of this stuff off to the side here. Okay, now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do corners. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get my towel wet again with hot water. I'm gonna put it back on the stove for 15 minutes, come back and do this again. So now Nash is working on doing his letters. Okay. Okay, let me show you what you need to do. It says, Grandpa drew this picture of a, f of a fish life cycle for the children. Take time to color it and talk about the life cycle patterns we have learned about so far. Okay, so it says, um, eggs, fry, adult. So practice counting by two, say, trace, and write the numbers. So remember yesterday, or remember yesterday, or when was it? Was it Nash that you had to do the, no, it was you. Where we skip, on, no, that's too far, I think. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Do you see it? Skip count by two. Yeah, skip count. Was it, in, oh, right here. So zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's what I have to do? That's what you have to do again. You're going to fill in them spots. Zero. So here. Okay. Okay, so you do that. And this book is Master Books, and we don't usually use Master Books. We usually use um, Matthew C, but he's gonna finish this book up and then we're gonna move on to the next book um, for Matthew C. Okay, what are you doing? I gotta do You did history? Eli's You did chemistry? Yeah. Biochemical. Biochemicals. Okay, what else did you do? Did you do spelling? Because uh, you need that for tomorrow. Yeah, I need to get so you're ready for your test tomorrow? No, I, yes, I need to write down things so I can. Because I, we just did mine last Friday. So all week this week you didn't do spelling? I forgot I had to get a new one. So you're on video. Okay, 
Where are you going to find that? In the book. We use a go get, it's in gauges, I think. So go get a list and start your list. Oh, we rip it out of it or don't we print it? I would just print it on a piece of paper so you have it. Just keep it in the book. Because then we can keep... Oh, okay. So re just, don't rip it out, just copy it. Right. Okay. Do you need help or no? Uh, no. Okay, no. what did you need help with? I did not I did one page in this, but then I forgot to do this. I did one page, but yeah. then I thought I had to do this, but then I forgot that I still had to do another page. Okay, but this is what you're going to do next? Yes. Okay. So this probably would be a zero, 10, 20. Okay, Nash, what do you have to do? So I'm done. You're done with writing? You're done with English? You're done with math? You're done with reading? Uh, what other book? Cursive. You did cursive? Let me see your cursive. I know. I'm waiting. Come and sit down. I'll help you. I want to see your cursive. Is that good? Um, this is 0, 10, 20, 30. What's next? What's the next 10 in order? Okay. What's the next 10 in order? Okay. So you did clown and globe. I did both of these. Bloom and flame. Okay. So 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. They are almost up. Well, you guys are just getting to 100 in this book. For the master books, for their grade level, level one is not, it's okay, but they were already doing this stuff last year. So with a back, or with Matthew C, um, they're a little bit more ahead than just doing the basic math. I'm ahead of you. Yeah. Okay, so you have to do, so Declan here. Do I have to do this book? Uh, yeah, you have to do the words, but then we also have to do. do it on the paper? Yeah, where are your, are your spelling words in here? Oh. Yeah, where's that paper? Um, wait, wait. Did it fall out? It should be in here. It probably fell out. Mom, I missed a lot of pages. Oh, yeah? I'll do them here. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Is that it? That's good. Yeah, I think that's Cat, it. chuck, corn, cub, and cute? Yeah, I think that's it. No, I don't know if that's it. Is this it? Yeah, this right here. Oh, it's this? Yep. Okay, so Declan is starting spelling words this year, so that is something new for him. We're still kind of... Uh, figuring out how to add that in with our our week, this. But you also need to write your spelling words because when we do our test... So we're skipping this. Um, yeah, we could probably skip that today. Okay. So you need to do this because we might do the test tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So All right. doing this and this. So this is this. Pretty much. No. Kind of, sort of, yeah. All right, so we're going to do plural nouns. It says, do you remember what a plural noun is? Yes, a plural noun. An action verb tells what the subject did, does, or will do. Many sentences with an action verb have direct objects. You don't need me?
videos I don't remember which one it was but I was talking about our laundry room so when Lauren had the place built I think he was saying like the laundry room wasn't supposed to be so narrow and on this side of the wall is Evelyn's bedrooms on that side so we can't really build bigger on that side we could possibly build bigger on the outside wall because that's the towards the outside of the house garage area so in here is mainly how everything is ran in our house it's kind of like a utility room but he didn't also plan on having this many kids and for me to have to do all this laundry in a small laundry room so if you guys see this room was never finished also so we have piping all through the laundry room we have piping up there we have piping behind the door we have a boiler system we have um our water tanks and stuff back here we have a printer back here we have another printer over on the other side from when i first started doing homeschooling we needed a more high uh like quality printer for me to print off so much and then um like our mop and stuff goes in here extra baskets i have all three of my main baskets down here i have declan's just sitting right there that's declan's and then I also have some of the craft stuff in here, like Evelyn's, um, or like Play-Doh, um, beans, a bin of beans are in here. And then I have our towels always staying here until we fold them and put them away. I have activity stuff down here for the kids. We have our Walmart bags and then our brooms, dustpan. I also have stuff stored up here on piping. We have PVC piping going through here. Um, I have extra bags, like Ziploc bags. We have paper plates and stuff stored in here. Um, with our house not having a lot of storage, we kind of try to make use of different areas to store things. Um, so, sure. So there's not much room. Oh yeah, and then we have another water tank or something. Oh no, we have, let me see another tank over there and that's for our watering like our water softener system and then that also right there so we go through culligan for our water system and then um just because we're ran off a well we're out in the country and when i first moved in some of the stuff wasn't able or when i did laundry things were turning orange so we needed that and then when we started having kids I needed to have better water in the house so we did the water system um yeah so I wanted to kind of go over everything that we have in here we only can fit a water uh, stackable washer and dryer in here and we actually have to measure it to make sure that it's gonna fit in between because of all the piping and stuff that we have around it we have piping on one side piping on the other side of it so it's mainly like one or two people can fit in here and only a couple baskets can fit in here. So all their baskets mainly are upstairs in their hallway and each child has their baskets in either in the hallway or in their bedroom. Um, so that's kind of how we keep up with the laundry in our small laundry room. And then I have a basket down here full of socks that are folded. And then I also have a sock basket and underwear basket over here, and we will get to that on another time. And then I also have our ironing board, which we don't use that very often, um, but we like to have it in here for when we need it. So that's just kind of a little update of this area. One of these days, maybe we'll update it or maybe we'll make it bigger. But by the time the kids get older, we probably won't need it to be bigger. This room is right off our kitchen. It's right next to our snack cabinet. If you guys saw that video, um, it's right next to it. So I was always able to do laundry right from the kitchen and we pretty much live in our kitchen. So I'm always back and forth when it comes to laundry. I like where the laundry is set up. It just is a little smaller. Just wanted to kind of go over that with you guys because I know Lauren one day was like, you should probably go over why our laundry room looks the way it does. So it's just mainly, um, oh yeah, I also want to mention some of the piping that we have going on around the ceiling, like right here we have red piping and then we have a, here I should show you guys. I'll show you behind our boiler system. And then all the red piping goes 
to our floor heat and the kids have floor heating up in their room too so that's how we have heating in our house and that is ran directly to our um this room the laundry room so i wanted to go over that with you guys real quick so all right so i think Declan has a couple more things to do. Okay, I'll go over that with you. He's got to read to me. Um, Eli is working on, what are you working on? Math. So when Gage is at home, before he goes to work, Gage has to do his homework. And he's working with Lauren today, so he had to do double the work yesterday to be able to go today. So they're gonna finish up here. I'm going to end this video. I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that go on on a regular basis and then share, you know, the laundry room with you guys. I want to share how I got started doing the sourdough. Evelyn has her shirt on backwards. <laughs> She's probably like, I don't realize that. Okay, so I will probably add part of this video, maybe tomorrow, or maybe on another video with how the sourdough turns out. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Miles is hiding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had to point it out. All right, so I will come back on either at the end of this video or on another video and tell you how the rest of the day goes with that. So this might be a two-part video, we'll see.